is our crafting hour. What are we making right, today? We, we are going to, because it's Easter coming up, we're going to be making these amazing eggs. Mm, I did my nightmare before Christmas. You can kind of see it with the camera. But they're empty. They're hollow. I'm going to be making an egg with a little face and a monocle and a hat with a feather. Yeah. Ooh. And they're empty and they last forever. They're really light. And you can just save them just because it's just a shell. It's awesome. So. Craft time. Craft time. Amy, have you ever blown an egg? No, I'm ready to learn. <laughs> Today, Ivy's gonna teach me how to blow. <laughs> All right, this is a fun arts and crafts project for Easter, so don't make fun of oh, egg no. blowing. It's a very serious art form. <laughs> okay, <laughs> first you'll need eggs. We got that grade was kind A. Of a given. You're gonna need a bowl for yeah, your you your egg droppings. Big thing of eggs, didn't you? Yes. You're gonna need a sharp pin, tack, safety pin works. Awesome, the strong one. Okay. And napkins are always good to have on hand because this is messy. Make sure the egg is clean. <laughs> I'm gonna suck at this, aren't I? It's gonna blow. It. Well, you're gonna blow. You're not gonna suck. It's. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you for. That's important. I'm guessing. Otherwise, you suck raw egg into your mouth. <laughs> yeah. 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 All, right. All right. So this one you have to be really careful with. You're gonna take the end of the needle and you're gonna poke the bigger bottom, <laughs> the bigger, <laughs> the bigger end of the egg first, and the needle just goes like right in. Ooh. And you want to poke at it a couple times. And you want to get a good opening. <laughs> just this blow. Is dirty. This is dirty. Egg blowing. Okay. Right. Be very careful because they. I feel like it's gonna break <laughs> they, on they me. Break. It is going to Dustin. Oh my god. It's not that hard. <laughs> I'm pushing really hard and nothing's happening. All right. So once you get a, a decent sized hole, <gasps> what? You can can't you can't really see it, but it's it's a. It's a good little size hole. You want to poke the other side and make a hole. smaller hole. So you have two oh, holes. Oh, I right. got it in. You got it in. Yeah. And poke a smaller hole um, on the narrower part of the egg. So you've got two holes. Mm. One on the top, one on the bottom. Ready to get that, Amy? I'm, I'm really <laughs> close here. Is that a big enough hole? Should I make it a little bit? Make it bigger. Yeah, you, you want, want the hole to be a little bigger than want, mine. Yeah. The, the bigger the hole, the easier the blowing will be. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. You want to take the end of your needle and you want to jab it up inside. You want to try and break up the egg yolk. Because if you don't break it up, it's going to be very difficult. Now, when I to turn blow. my egg upside down no. to poke my top hole, is it going to seep out? <laughs> no. On me. No, it will not. All right. Okay, so now you have your two holes. Here, and you want me to hold this for you? Yeah, that's good. Um, you want to put your mouth over the smaller hole and you want to <laughs> blow with your cheeks as hard as you can. And hopefully you want to just, you want to shoot out all the... There's going to be so much <laughs> lipstick on my head. Oh, no. <laughs> Mine That's too. That's all right. I'll paint it dark. <gasps> Ew! <laughs> oh, my God. Can we get a close-up of that? <laughs> all right, let's get a close-up. <laughs> Please. No, even closer. <laughs> Tonight. <laughs> it really shoots out of there if you blow hard. I got lipstick on mine! Oh lordy. Alright, so mine's completely blown and you've got all this stuff. What I like to do to drain them is take the top of a pop bottle, a two liter, and you want to go ahead and just sit it over it. It acts as like a nice little stand and then everything kind of like drips out and you can let you it dry. You are so fancy. <laughs> And then you could rhinestone it. Nothing's happening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. Yeah, you don't. What? You, you don't need to like put the whole thing in your mouth. <laughs> Just want to cover the top part. There you go. Maybe you, maybe you need to poke a bigger. Oh, a little drop came out. Yeah, you want to probably make it a little bit bigger. If you're having a hard time <laughs> squirting it out, poke oh. a bigger hole in the bottom bottom of the egg, and it, it'll make it easier. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Egg leakage. Oh, there you go. You're getting some out. <laughs> this sucks. If you're feeling like it's clogged, take your pin. And kind of, sometimes the membrane of the yolk gets 
um, clogged in the hole, and you just kind of want to, like, shimmy it up in there. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> well, being the Martha Stewart I am, mm. oh, I've already pre-done some eggs. Great. All right. And it's just the shell. And the so last, these are dry now. They'll last forever. And these are perfect um, eggs to paint with because you can keep them over the years. Okay. You just always keep it in this little thing because the yolk, the egg will still kind of leak out and you don't want to get it everywhere when you're painting them. But yeah, they last forever. And you can do any sort of egg. You can do chicken eggs. Or you can do quail eggs. I found these in Seattle. Okay. We got the paint. Alright, so you can use a lot of different types of paint on these. You can use acrylic paints, which we have. You can use thick watercolor. You could even use spray adhesive and glitter. Make it sparkly. Mm -hmm. I'm going to paint mine. Can we just use nail polish? You could use nail polish. Oh, oh that is pretty. Alright, nail polish works. Awesome. Um, if you're using anything else like watercolor, like a thick watercolor or, or acrylic paint, um, I always get like a crystal clear or the glossy is really, really pretty, the spray um, coating. So after you're done painting, um, you can do that. Also, I like to paint on these little pop tops, um, but you can also just get like a little bit of wire and you can actually thread it through the egg and link up through the other hole. You just have to kind of like thread it like a bead. All right, so yeah, I have it on the wire and you can just like bend a little loop on one side like this and you can hang it so that way the paint, you know, you can paint the entire thing or when you're uh, crystal coating it um, or sealing it, you can spray it on this and that way you don't get like a ring around the bottom. Mm. Alright, so I'm just going to draw my I'll design with a pencil. Oh, and that's a good yeah, idea. You can draw it out first before you paint it. Okay. Oh no, can you erase your egg? If you... Oh, you can. You can erase? If you use pencil, you can erase. If you draw wrong on your egg. If you use pencil, you can erase. If you make oh. screw boo boo. Well, that's amazing! <laughs> okay, I got my design drawn up. So I'm going to go and squirt some paint. Craft time! If you ever get bored while you're painting, you can just sing our song. Amy. Ivy. Craft time! Get Amy. ready! Over there. See? Ooh. 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 That's the whole size on the top. And that's the whole size on the bottom. Oh, it dries pretty fast, too. It dries really fast. The acrylic fast. paint. That's uh -huh. the nice thing about the acrylic paint. <laughs> this little guy is going to be my new boyfriend, so he's going to be so cute. <laughs> How's it going, Dustonian? Good. So far, we got the yellow moon with the little thing I'm painting the other sides. Well, Amy's gluing stuff on her eggs, um, and she is using E6000, which is an awesome glue. You can use it for anything, it's very rubbery. This is what it looks like. E6000. Oh my god, we should totally put these on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna make purple. And to make purple, you mix red <laughs> and blue together. Mm. And if you didn't know that, sorry about your elementary art education. Who knew eggs could be so much fun? I mean, I enjoy a good omelet, but come on. Alright, so I got my egg and my wire, and I got my clear coat. And because it was acrylic paint, we're gonna go ahead and seal it. Make sure to get the bottom. Oh, that's beautiful. We did it! Yay! All done. Uh, See it? Uh huh. It's all glossy, super lightweight. And might not you glued googly eyes and a little hat onto it. Ooh. So I should put my mustache on. He's got a monocle. <laughs> there he is. Oh, and I did my earring. It's a quail egg earring. Now, for this, I just took a quail egg, blew it. And then with the hole in the top, I just took fishing line, the really heavy duty stuff, and I made a little loop, um, and I took 
dipped it in E6000, stuck it in the hole, let it dry, and then you just attach a clip to it. Just like that. And that's so lightweight. Yeah. You want one, don't I mean, you? even this would be light. Yeah, these would be super light. Yeah. If you clear coat it enough, especially with the glazy one, it has like a protective shell over it. If you just keep putting layers over it, it kind of builds up and it makes them stronger. Ha, ha, ha.